Don't let yourself get fooled by the look of the games. Pro Yakio are pretty good baseball games on the PSP. They have their own unique quirks that will attract part of the gaming community. In this game, stats play a major role. Each player has different stats, and you can really feel the difference. A less professional player is slower and has more difficult controls, moving is harder and slower, whereas a top player is easier to maneuver around and is faster. In the game, pitching is less great, at least if you make the jump from a PS2. The PS2 version has some really great pitching. On the PSP, due to the joystick knob, pitching feels less accurate. As for game modes, you get quick play, a career mode called pennant mode, a home run competition mode, an arrange mode where you can manage transfers between teams, you can rearrange the players of the teams in the game however you want, and you also get a song creation game mode where you create your own songs by using a very basic tool. Proyakio 2 brings a new mode. The My Life mode, where you create your own character and become a champ. You also get a character creation tool, where you can create new players. And the manager mode is deeper, allowing you to fast forward matches and play only as a manager, without needing to play the matches. If you want, you can still play the matches in the manager mode, but you also have the option to not play them and fast forward in them. Power Pro Yakio 3 improves one major aspect, the controls. Finally, everything feels better, the controls feel more accurate than in the first two games. Other than this, I haven't noticed any new game modes or anything else significant. The roster is updated, of course, and you get new menus, but I wouldn't call that something new. Even so, the better controls still remain a major improvement. In Pro Yakio 4, you get a new game mode. It's called Passion, but fans will recognize it more if I call it Crown 9. In this mode, you train and develop a team as a coach of a high school baseball team and aim for victory at the Japan National High School Baseball League. About this game, I found people on the internet claiming that their game was buggy. They said that, especially when you are in pennant mode, you can encounter the bug that the power of the new foreigner drops abnormally after a few years. Pro Yakio 2010 tries to fix one big issue the franchise had on the PSP from the first title, the loading times. They were always on the longer range. And with 2010, they tried to fix this. And how did they make the loading times faster? By deleting part of the sounds. Many sounds were deleted, so that the PSP doesn't have to load them anymore. And this isn't a good decision in my opinion. Because the game loses its immersion. Without the proper sounds and without the many sound effects the game had, I don't know, it feels, it feels more shallow. Even if you get many game modes and a lot of content. In my opinion, this wasn't a good decision. The game loses its immersion. In rest, aside of the aspect that it became easier to acquire special abilities, the game is pretty much Pro Yakio 4, but with many sound files deleted so that the game would load faster. In Pro Yakio 2011, the music files that got deleted in the previous game returned. The developers realized that cutting the music would make the experience worse, even if the loading times would be faster, so they preferred to restore the files even if the game takes longer to load now. The game is the same as Pro Yakio 4 in game modes. And as for Power Pro 2012 and 2013, they don't bring anything new either. The best way to describe the games is by citing Game Catalog, a Japanese review website. Game Catalog says that 2013 is an unpleasant PSP version without updates. So to summarize, Pro Yakio on the PSP are baseball games filled with content that also have some strategic approach to them as each character feels slightly different due to each character having different stats. But unfortunately, the controls don't feel that good and the loading times are fairly long. The first games brought improvements in gameplay with each year, peaking at Power Pro 4. 
From Power Pro 4, the gameplay remained the same, and the focus was pitched to the graphics. From 2010 to 2013, you can see some nice graphical upgrade, which makes 2013 the most complete in gameplay and the best looking game. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.